hey everyone welcome back and in this video let's learn about five things five tricks you can use today in chrome dev tools console to boost up your productivity as a javascript developer if you're new here make sure you leave a like subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon this is free of cost and helps the channel grow i'm going to start off with the first trick which google which chrome dev tools team has very recently baked into the platform and that is you can now redeclare variables declared with const or let in a different block so what do i mean by that earlier and even you know today you know that you cannot declare two variables again and again with const right that that is an error in your javascript code but your chrome dev tool repl allows you to do that this code over here if you were writing it this in a single script this will be an actual error because const will say that cannot redeclare already declared variable and this will still be an error if you do this in a single code block see what i'm doing this is like a single code block and now if i hit enter you can see that i get an error that identifier a has already been declared but if you do this in different lines that is completely fine, right? So now A is two. The reason console or Chrome DevTools did this is because in a DevTool environment over here, it's much more common to just run and rerun scripts again and again for doing certain part. And this makes, does, does not, is not very convenient for developers when this error comes just because you have rerun a script. So this works pretty much similarly with let as well, because let can also not be redeclared. You can see let and const in themselves are not compatible intercompatible that way so if i have let b is 2 let b is 3 that will work but again this will not work where you have two declarations happening in a single code block there it will still follow the javascript semantics so just a quick tip on why you can now use const and let instead of var in the console if you want to declare and redeclare stuff over and over again all right the second trick which you should know about is the command menu in chrome dev tools so when i press command p on mac os or control p on windows you will see something like this opens but this is not very fancy because what you want is write a greater than symbol over here the moment you do that you will be actually brought into the command panel and this includes a bunch of interesting things you can do my favorite ones is the search one first of all so the search option over here what this does is that it allows you to search within the source code itself so let's say i want to see sign up with where does this exist the string itself so you can see the string itself exists in three places the first one is this chunk over here and this is not you know very pretty so another trick inside a trick is that you can click on this button over here and you can see that you get a little bit of react tree kind of thing where you can see that this children is the thing which you obviously see over here we also see this in another bundle which is on the register page and finally we see this in the html itself because this page is well server side rendered so that's why this also exists in the html so you can find quickly certain occurrence of a string or certain thing within your source code by going to the command panel and writing search and hitting this thing over here another thing which can be included in this tip itself is this command panel also allows you to look into tools like fps for example so when i go to that and render this you can see this little graph which is coming over here now and when i start scrolling or when i start you know hovering over things you're gonna see that FPS might drop a little bit depending on what kind of things are happening. But anything over 50, 60 FPS is, is just fine. So you can see the GPU memory, a little bit of performance over here. So you can see which particular thing triggers the FPS drop if you are building probably a gaming kind of web app or something. So it has a bunch of useful tools you can trigger from the command menu itself. So make sure you give this a go and see what all options you have available. And the third trick which you have is the availability of jQuery like shortcuts and not exactly jQuery like it's just a couple of them in the dev tool itself. So let's say if I am, if I want to select this script tag, what I can do is because this has an ID, I can just simply write script with an ID of load GTM. And you can see that it gives me that. And this dollar symbol you might have you know just figured out that this is this is something which comes from the jquery world but this is not jquery browser is not loading jquery this page does not have jquery this will pretty much work in any any other uh, web page also so you can use these jquery like shortcuts dollar is one thing another one which is double dollar will 
act probably like document.query selector all. So you have this, you know, bunch of tags with you. Another handy shortcut which is available right over here is that if you hop over to the elements tag and if you just go ahead and select, let's say, any single element like root, for example, you can access the selected element in the console with dollar zero so you don't even have to go ahead and get a selector for this and so on you can just go to console and write dollar zero and this will give you the root element and you can do everything and anything you want for example get attribute id something like this and it'll just work like you would be working with a actual html element trick number four which i have for you is sometimes you might want to extract out certain screenshots or certain parts of the website so how you can do that is first of all select the element using this selector over here you can see i've just selected this node now go to console in the command palette itself you can write screenshot over here not screen hot screenshot and click on this capture node screenshot option over here so when you click on this capture node screenshot you're gonna see that it captures only the part of that page and gives you a png file opening this file you can see you only get a particular screenshot with the correct edges with the correct you know area gradients everything instead of you know just manually taking screenshot you can use this tool to take better screenshots finally another lightweight trick which you can do with console is actually get a color of any pixel on the screen so for that what you have to do is just go to the elements tab and write anything you know any sort of color thing over here doesn't matter it could be anything and whenever you click on this color over here you're gonna see that when you drag your cursor on the screen now you have a magnifier kind of thing with you and now you can click on any pixel on the screen itself and you'll get the color so for example if I want to get this yellow shade inside this little icon I can click on this and this is the color for that pixel going forward you can also press shift and click on this to toggle between different formats of this color so you can see this is rgb this is hsl format and this is the hex format which we know you can also click on this icon over here to toggle the color or you can just click on shift and press this super handy a lot of times when you want to extract out colors from images and colors from certain ui designs where you don't have the explicit values with you so yep, that's pretty much it for this video we cover more in the front end web development part of this full stack learning path around css around these different things so make sure you give it a spin make sure you try out code dams full stack learning path if you you want to become a full stack developer a front-end developer a back-end developer that's all for this one i'm gonna see you in the next video really soon if you're still watching this video make sure you comment down in the comment section i watched this video till the end also if you're not part of code dumps discord community you are missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code you already know the drill make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and thank you so much for watching